Hi. So we are in chapter three and we're doing lesson two. Now I wanted to go through um, polynomials, mon monomials, adding, subtracting, and multiplying. So that's 3.2. All right, so let's begin. I've circled all the problems that are going to be your homework problems. So I'm going to do the examples that you see um, that are not circled, obviously. Okay, first of all, a monomial is a number, a variable, or a product, like when you multiply two numbers or just a number and a variable, okay? One thing, an example could be like four. An example is also like seven X or three X squared. I can have an exponent there. That's still a monomial. So I wanna discuss the uh, exponent rules. It's been a long time since we've talked about that. So that's gonna be things like um, X to the M times x to the n. And then the rule is, well, what do I do with the m and the n? They have the same base, but the exponents. Okay, so I'm gonna add um, x to the m plus n. You add the exponents. Like x to the fifth times x to the third would be obviously x to the three plus five, eight. Okay? A power rule, so this is add. Let me do that in a color so that we're all clear. Add. <clears throat> Next, um, the power rule. Like um, x to the m, and then I raise the whole thing to the nth power. That means that I have x to the m times n. Multiply. All right, um, x squared to the seventh. Multiply two times seven, x to the 14th. So really good, let me come in a little bit. Here we go, much better. Quotient rule, that'd be like x to the m divided by x to the n. Do you remember what to do? Subtract x to the m minus n. So how about um, x to the 10th over x to the 4th? Subtract 10 minus 4, x to the 6th. Okay, so that's easy. A negative exponent. A negative exponent becomes a small, small fraction. So I'm gonna do x to the negative m flips becomes one over x to the m, okay? So x to the negative second, one over x squared, okay? So that's easy. What if I had, what if I had, what if I had, or one over g to the negative third? What if my negative exponent was at the bottom? What would I do? Did you say flip it up? Flip it up. Just g to the third. Okay. Zero exponent rule. Anything to the zero power is one. Anything to the zero power. Uh, five x to the third, all raised to the zero power. Still one. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. We're going to start adding and subtracting now. Combine like terms. Or actually, when we add and subtract, we're just doing examples now. Sorry, not quite yet. Um, 5x squared times negative 7x to the 6th. So I'm going to have you first do the 5 times the negative 7. The numbers first. Negative 35. Then you're going to do x squared times x to the 6th. Well, we know x squared times x to the 6th means that you add. So it's x to the 8th. Okay, down here. Well, I can simplify this right here. 54 over three, you guys, that's 18. M to the sixth divided by M squared. M to the sixth over M squared, six minus two, four. 
n to the four over n to the one. Four minus one, n to the third, minus 10, m to the fourth, n to the third. Hey, they have the same variables, the same m to the fourth, n to the third. So I'm just gonna do 18 minus 10. Eight, m to the fourth, n to the third. Okay. On number two, oh, I think you'll got, you know it, but like make sure you go negative two to the second power and then a to the third to the second power and then b to the second power. Everything has to be raised to the second power. I have one like that here, two thirds to the second. Well, two thirds squared is four ninths, right? And then r squared to the second, two times two, r to the two times two, r to the fourth. S, seven times two, seven times two, S to the 14th, right? Times, nothing happens to that second one. One sixth, R to the third, S. So now I'm actually going to just combine the numbers, combine the R's and combine the S's. Combine the R's, I do it in different like colors and, you know, this I can put like a little star above the S's. Pink, purple, blue, pink. Four ninths times one sixth, two twenty seventh. Purple, R to the fourth, R to the third. R to the seventh. Oh, let's do it in pencil, R seven. S, 14 and one, S to the 15th, and you're done. I want to remind you on number six, this negative exponent means you should flip the fraction first. So really and truly you're doing this. Okay. All right, number seven, just simplify. 15 over 24, so I have to think of a number, small number that goes into 15 and 24, three, right? Five over eight. Now, if there's x to the 10th and x to the 12th, okay, 10 minus 12, well, okay. There's 10 on top and there's 12 on bottom. So if there's 10 x's on top, x, 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 and then there's 12 on the bottom, x, 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 x. So I need to then notice that there's still gonna be two in the denominator after I simplify. Y to the fourth over y to the third, it's just gonna leave me with one y above. There you go, okay? So your job is to do these purple circles for homework, okay? All right, switch, turn the page. Give an example of two monomials with a quotient of, okay, so I'm like, it's like, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how I can simplify that. So this is a, I mean, it's going to, <laughs> I'm gonna make one up and you're gonna wonder how on earth did she get that? But I'm just I'm thinking of a hard math problem that reduces to this, that this is the answer, okay? So it's like, um, I could do for the negative three, right? I could do negative 36 over 12. M in the denominator, well, I just need like, how about if I had m to the third here and then m to the fourth here? That would leave one in the denominator. And then I want n squared on top, like um, n to the seven over n to the five. Now remember, I'm just making this up in my head. Like this is a really hard problem. And I don't know that you're able to just like make up a math problem in your head, but there's that. Okay, so that's just a sample, but don't worry too much about this. This is like an extra advanced type of thing. All right, let's talk about polynomials. 
polynomials. So this. Okay. A polynomial is the sum or difference of many monomials. The highest exponent of a polynomial is called the degree. We talked about that already in 3.1. Standard form. Always write the exponents. in descending order. Which means that I'm gonna start with like my highest exponent. So all I have to do is write these from biggest exponent to smallest exponent. I'm gonna do 10, you'll do 11 and 12. The biggest exponent, fifth, it's gotta be negative k to the fifth. Then is there a fourth? Nope. Is there a third? Yep. Is there a second? Yep. Is there a first? Yep. Is there a number, a constant without a variable, without a K? Yep. There you go. Descending order. Five, three, two, one, nothing. Blast off, right? All right. I'm classifying. We know this. A zero degree is called a constant. It's just a number. It doesn't even have a variable. First degree is going to be a straight line, linear. Okay. Um, second degree, quadratic. We know this already. Third degree is cubic. Fourth degree is quartic. Fifth degree is quintic, Q-U-I-N. Okay. Number of terms. One term, one thing, monomial. Two, bi, binomial. Three, tri, trinomial. Anything with four or more is the poly, polynomial. Okay, polynomial. 13. Okay, classify them by degree and the number of terms. Well, it's to the first degree, so that's linear. And there's two terms, it's a binomial. Fifth degree, guys, quintic. There's three terms, trinomial. And then you guys can do 15, 16, and 17. This should all be a review. Like everything we've done so far should still be a review. That's why it's so easy. That's why you're watching the video on it because it's so easy. Turn the page. The numbers that are circled, you need to do on your own for homework. All right, here we go. Adding and subtracting and multiplying. Adding and subtracting, combine like terms. Like there is no shortcut about it. If they have the same exponent, put them together. If they have the same variable, put them together, right? No, if they have the same variable, put them together. The exponent can be different. Depending, eh, nope, same exponent, same exponent, let's do this. Okay, here we go. 3x squared and x squared, same exponent, same variable, same exponent. 11x, 5x, I'll do a zigzag. 4 and negative 13. Okay. Go in order of the biggest exponent. 3x squared, 3x squared plus x squared. 4x squared. Let's do pink. 11x plus negative 5. 6x. Blue. 4 plus negative 13. Negative 9. Okay. 
Number three. Oh, X to the third is by itself. Okay, that's fine. K squared, here's K squared. Just a plain old K. Seventeens alone. Okay. Five K to the third minus four K squared minus seventeen. <clears throat> okay. Well, be careful with this. Subtract negative 10ab plus 7a squared minus b squared from this. That means I start with this. 8b squared <clears throat> plus ab minus 2a squared. Then subtract negative 10ab plus 7a squared minus b squared. Okay, like terms. Um, okay, <clears throat> a squared would go first because it's alphabetical order. Okay, um, then I'm gonna do my a, b's. Watch the sign, minus negative. Then I'm gonna do my b squared. Okay, here we go. Negative 2a squared minus 7a squared. Negative 2 minus 7. Negative 9a squared. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, AB's, AB minus negative 10, one AB minus negative 10, one plus 10, 11 AB. And yes, the AB does go in the middle. We finish with the B squared. Blue, eight B squared, minus negative b squared, eight minus negative one, eight minus negative one, nine b squared. All right? Almost there. Multiplying guys, foil, distribute. The w gets multiplied by all three of these. And then the seven gets multiplied by those. Ready? W times W squared, W to the third. W times two W plus two W squared. W times one plus W. Negative seven times W squared, negative seven W squared. Negative seven times two W, negative 14 W, negative seven times one, negative seven. I can put the W squareds together and then I can put just the plain old W's together. W cubed, it's all by itself. All alone, okay. 2w squared minus 7w squared, negative 5w squared. Purple, w minus 14, 1 minus 14, negative 13w, and then negative 7. Good. Number 8. Okay, plan of attack, ready? First, multiply the negative three times those. Then FOIL this. So I'm kind of like breaking it up in the middle. 
and then I'll multiply. Because this is hard. You got to organize yourself. My organization skills were that I was going to distribute the negative three, and then I decided I was going to foil the other binomials. If you don't have a plan when you start, you're going to forget what did I multiply? Where did I begin? Where? Okay. So negative 3a minus 15. So there's that. Then a squared minus 2a plus 8 minus 2a plus 8a plus 6a negative 2 times 18 negative 16. Okay. And now I got my work cut out for me, like right small. In fact, I'm actually going to go over here, right small. I'm going to do the negative three times everything. Let's go pink on top. One, two, three. Blue on bottom. One, two, three. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Negative three a to the third. Negative three a times six a. Negative eighteen a squared. Negative three times negative sixteen plus forty eight a. Okay, so I did my pink. Now I'm gonna do blue. Okay. Negative fifteen times a squared. Negative 15 a squared. Negative 15 times positive 6a. Aye. Negative 90a. Negative 15 times negative 16, positive 240. That's a polynomial. That's a polynomial. Okay. A to the third is all alone. So I can't combine like terms with that. But the squareds sure can. Negative 18, negative 15, negative 33a squared. <clears throat> How about this? 48a minus 90. 48 minus 90. 42. Um, negative 42. That A looks pretty bad. And then 240 is all of them. Okay. Thinking about stopping here, you guys have been, uh, I can do one more. So I'm gonna let you try it. I'm gonna write down the answer. Check to see if you get what I get. So we're not gonna do 12, let's not do 12. Here's the answer to number 10. Okay, so maybe you wanna pause right now and try number 10 by yourself. And then I'll write down what the final answer is. Six M to the fourth plus seven M to the third minus 45 M squared plus 41 M minus nine. That's a lot. Okay. All right, here's how you got it. I'll write the step before it. 6m to the fourth plus 15m to the third minus 27m squared minus 8m to the third minus 20m squared plus 36m plus 2m squared, plus 5m, minus 9. And then it's simplified down to here. And you can do 11 on your own, okay? All right, you guys, excellent job. This was all review, adding, subtracting, multiplying polynomials. Easy stuff, right? All right.
Talk to you later. Make sure you do all the circle problems for homework. Bye.